Businesses and residents are already preparing for Hurricane Olivia. Nikki Shenfeld went out to see what they've learned from Hurricane Lane and what items go quickly. People were stocking up on supplies early at City Mill. Early this morning, I usually arrive at 5.30, and we don't open till 7, and there were already a few cars in the parking lot. So there, are, there is some concern. Suster tells me tarps and generators went fast when Lane was approaching. We sold out virtually all flashlights, batteries, tarps, plywood, uh, propane. In three days, uh, we sold several million dollars worth of merchandise. I mean, it was unbelievable. Today, the store almost fully stocked again, but are already running low on charcoal grills and generators. This time, right, we doubled the order. But, you know, a container only can hold so much. We have eight city mills on the island. So the containers are coming in. We had three more containers come in today. So the, our goal is to get it all out to the stores no later than Monday. Grocery stores preparing too. KTA Superstore president says Hawaii Island residents are no stranger to preparing for the worst, but there are certain items that always go fast. Water, and, you know, non-perishable canned goods, you know, went first. Toilet trees, of course, toilet paper and stuff, that, that all went, um, you know, pretty quick. He says he didn't see any hoarding at his stores, and not many items were returned. Another thing to keep in mind is that stores have different return policies, especially when it comes to water and to generators. Stores are also suggesting to hang on to your purchases for your hurricane kit because hurricane season isn't over. To me, you know, hurricane season goes all the way through November. You know, there might be two, three more. You might as well hang on. Shipping company Pesha Hawaii says it is monitoring the situation closely and will work with the U.S. Coast Guard, State Department of Transportation, and customers, as it did with Hurricane Lane, if needed. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News.